Rest your hands effortlessly in your lap. And when you're ready, close your eyes. Worry and anxiety affect all of us, especially during times of pressure. In fact, tens of millions of people suffer from anxiety. supplements so I'm so excited for today's vlog because I have been really enjoying my morning routine and my daily wellness habits that I've been pretty much doing throughout the day and I'm gonna go through it a bit today right now it's starting like with my morning supplements you guys saw like my entire morning routine and then I do some things like around lunchtime or in the early afternoon I have like some evening things that I do too so ah oh, it's just bringing me so much happiness right now and then also later I'm gonna be attempting to bring out my artistic side again and create like a wall canvas art I've dabbled in that in the past and I've made some ones that are upstairs like in my office and in my bedroom but I want to make another one for my office so we're gonna do that together as well but as you guys saw I was starting to get all of like my morning supplements together so I'm just gonna run through really quickly what I have been doing this right here I'm gonna take last after everything because I'm gonna like sip on it and this is all still on an empty stomach I haven't had a breakfast yet but this is the um the symbiotica super greens i also have like lemon water in it and i'll take my zinc with it zinc is really good for like your immune system your metabolism and also like your skin and acne which i have been struggling with lately and then the super greens is really good for detoxification energy getting a good energy boost and then also immune support too. So I'll put that aside. Right now I'm going to take these. And I've also been loving that all of this is in like a liquid form, a liposomal form, just so that it can get quickly absorbed into the system. This is the only thing that I've been taking that is in a pill form. So I'm going to start with the Omega. This is also from Symbiotica. Omega's is really good for inflammation, for like brain health. This one is super oily. It doesn't taste the best if I'm going to be honest. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I like to take this one first just to get out of the way because like this one tastes better and everything else tastes better as well. Okay. Doesn't have like any like fishiness to it, but it just feels like really oily. And then I'm gonna follow it up with taking the Symbiotica B12 and B6. This one's really good for energy, for my mood, heart and bone health as well. 10, 11, 12. That one tastes a lot better. And then in this little bowl, this little concoction, a little bit of orange juice is because I can't take these like straight up. Maybe over time I can, but right now I like to mix it with something. You can just squeeze this whole pouch in your mouth if you want to, but this is the Symbiotica Glutathione. So this is a antioxidant and it also is really great for liver and gut health. You guys, I am on my health kick. This does get stuck to the bottom though. I'm just gonna... Mm-hmm. Pretty much take that as a shot. And then last was this. This is obviously some things that have been really working well for me. 
in my body and just like where I'm at right now in life and like things that I'm dealing with. So I don't necessarily recommend all of this for you guys, but it's just really fun to share what I've been doing and what has been making me feel just really good, like really energetic, really happy and calm, like not really super stressed and stressing about everything. It feels like I have a, like a more even mind. I don't know. I placed an order for pickup for groceries and Juan just picked them up and put them on the counter. So let's go ahead and put those away along with all of like my supplements here. <laughs> found the perfect lip product to use that doesn't cause any like flare up for the periodontal dermatitis which is what I think that I had but it's essentially all gone now which is amazing there was a moment there that I wasn't putting a single thing on my lips and my lips were just like so dry and I was like oh my god this is the worst thing ever <laughs> that I cannot find any sort of like lip balm, chapstick or anything to go on my lips. I don't know like what's changed where all of a sudden my skin is sensitive to certain chapsticks or lip balms. Like so weird how just your skin and sensitivities evolve over the course of your life, you know? So freaking weird. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, go watch like my day in my life in Argentina vlog because I just like dove into whatever the hell that this is. But anyways. I got two different versions of it, but it's the Smith's Rosebud Salve. It's in like pot form, but then it's also like in a tube. So I kind of have them all over the house now, like in my car, my nightstand, in my office, just to kind of have them everywhere because it came in a pack. I just got it off of Amazon. They also sell it at Sephora as well. Because sometimes you don't want like your finger all gross. So sometimes it's nice to have one that's like in a little skirt. So yeah, anyways, this has been amazing. So I figured I would share it with you guys. You have similar maybe skin sensitivities that I do. Maybe this is one that would work for you guys as well. So I'm excited and I figured I would share it with you guys. So update on little gray girl. She is still recovering from her spaying surgery. She still has her cone on. Her energy is like completely back to normal, but we're still trying to keep her calm. And so we actually just spoke with the vet um, and they still want us to continue to give her like the sedation pills. We were doing just like half pills and stuff. So she's not like completely knocked out, but we definitely want her energy reduced so that there is no issues with her incision. It's not gonna like open up or start bleeding or anything like that. So we're gonna continue with her being like a little calm girly right now, but everything else is going really well for her. So that's exciting. Here's a rough setup for my canvas. So this is the piece that we are going to be creating some art on. And I just got it from Michael's. So it's like a pretty thick canvas, which is nice. And then also pulled out a ton of supplies that I might wanna work with. So I'm gonna start on art now oh my god you guys i have been wanting to do this for so long let's move it down since it's sitting on the ground i've been wanting to do this for so long and i've been having a hard time like thinking of the exact concept that i wanted to land on that i wanted to do so i, I took it to pinterest and i found some like good inspiration of what i want this to look like so I'll insert some pictures of my inspiration for it. But I essentially still wanted this to be like a plaster canvas. If you guys recall the one that is currently in my office that I did, what, like a year and a half ago or so, that is just like strictly joint compound and this brand of joint compound too. 
it works best. Not all joint compound is good for doing like this sort of art. So I'm excited to tackle it right now and try. I think I'm just nervous. I want it to turn out really good. And what this piece is for is, as you guys may recall, I haven't given any updates on it in a while, but I am redoing my office and just like completely redesigning it. And so I got this like half bookcase situation to go behind my desk and it was just like an empty wall and it just felt empty and so that's why I got a bookcase to go there but then I think it would be really good to have some sort of art piece above it. I went back and forth on like putting a mirror right there but I just think that I want another art piece. So ta -da, we're doing it. I also got this like textured tool as well i don't know if i'm gonna use it or not but i have it tons of paints so that's what i'm gonna kind of do right now is i have like this little test canvas and i'm going to put a bunch of paint on here to just see what color i want to go with i want to go kind of like lighter i also have just white paint here that i can mix things with and then for the big canvas i have just like big brushes but also one that's kind of gives a little bit of texture smaller brush that i can use right now for the test canvas and then this, of course, for the big canvas and putting the joint compound on it, but then little tools too for any extra details. You know, you guys, I just like to be prepared for whatever my mind wants to do and where it wants to take it. <laughs> you guys know I love doing DIY when I can or just trying to figure out things to do for myself. You know what? I think I'm just gonna start. I was playing around with colors and stuff right here and like mixing like these ones with white and I like a more muted look than the darker ones up top but then I was taking the joint compound and like mixing it with paint just to see like what it would look like but I'm thinking for like my inspiration it seems like some of it might be layered so what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is put just like paint on the canvas so that it's kind of like layered underneath everything and then maybe start to put like very light layers of joint compound just white on top of it but once it's kind of dried and then kind of just keep layering from there <laughs> is this gonna look like shit i don't know okay let's just do it i'm just gonna go for it but i need to change out of these clothes first So excited. There's gonna be a university haul coming. I'm trying to figure out if I want to do it in a vlog or its own video. But it should be coming immediately after this vlog. Oh, I'm so excited. I think I'm at a really good stopping point for the art piece to like dry before I do another coat. So I think it was pretty pointless for me to like paint the canvas underneath because after I did it, I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna mix in some paint with the joint compound itself because I think that that's gonna give me the look that I want more. I think it's probably not wasted to paint the canvas because 
if there's any spot that I missed to add joint compound, like that would be peeking through, which is fine. So I'll call it that just so I don't feel like it's like a complete waste. But what I wanna do is you see that I like painted the joint compound, mix paint with it and then put it on, have that dry. And then I'm gonna do just white joint compound. So not mixing anything with it and put that over top in places and then still have the other joint compound peeking through. I'm thinking that's what I want to do. Okay, so yesterday I made a huge batch of my pasta salad, which is delicious. So we're gonna have this for lunch. And I'm gonna take a little bit of Italian dressing, pour it on top just to give a little extra. Maybe top it with a little bit of pepper. I added some, but let's make it fresh. And then same with like a little pinch of salt. Ta-da! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is so good. I think Summer House was just recorded, so I'm gonna watch a little bit of it just while I'm eating this. Okay, I know you guys just saw me make lunch, but I'm actually gonna make a snack now. It's a couple hours later. And it is time for a little smoothie. Let's get some water going. A scoop of vegan protein. Half of a banana here i'm gonna add some pineapple this sounds really delicious and refreshing a couple of strawberries a couple of mangoes because why not and definitely some blueberries this is not gonna be a pretty smoothie <laughs> and then top it all up with like a handful of spinach and there we have it to find the recipe to make the um like the pancakes with dulce de leche that we had in argentina <laughs> maybe we'll make that this weekend if you can find a recipe for it yeah i think this is a little watery maybe i'll put some more fruit in it and then give it another blend but if you guys have like an all-time favorite smoothie recipe comment it down below because i would love to make it i'm on the hunt for some like really good smoothie recipes <laughs> so much you guys okay so we're gonna take some afternoon supplements here so i'm gonna be taking magnesium here this is like vanilla cream it's actually pretty good that i can just take it from the packet but i do like to chase it <laughs> mm -hmm. why is that so good it's like sweet but still somehow tastes like a little bit chocolatey i don't even know and the next thing that i'm gonna take is my armra not live without it. I recently started just taking it straight up, like powder form, you guys. 
It gets a little weird, I'm not gonna lie, but we have my chaser, so I'm gonna need it. I can't describe the texture, like it definitely like lumps together and it kind of sticks like everywhere in your mouth and like even like the roof of your mouth and it kind of tastes like milky but like oddly i enjoy it but they say that it's the best way to take it because it just like immediately seeps into like your bloodstream and stuff i don't know i don't know i'm just gonna do it though everywhere i think i'm gonna go have like a, um, a little reading moment right now everywhere downstairs to the art piece i really want to try to like just really wrap this up today um it looks fairly dry so i'm gonna go ahead and put on the second coat of the joint compound Here is my stopping point for now. It is gonna be hung vertically, not this way, but the sides are wet, so that's why it's this way right now. But I am liking it. Let's see how it dries and how the color forms and if there's like any spots that I've kind of missed. But I try to add like lots of texture throughout, but still allowing some of like those colors underneath to like peek through. So I'm excited to get this like finished up, hung up, and hopefully it looks really good in the space. I forgot to get things to hang it. So I just ordered off of Amazon, um, like D hooks and like a wire to install on it, on the back of it to hang it up. So that should be here tomorrow. So I'm for sure gonna finish it this weekend, but to not leave you guys hanging, I'll include a clip of it hung up in the space so that you guys can see beginning to finish the whole process and what it looks like finished as well, you know? But I'm digging it, I'm digging it. That was not bad at all. And it didn't even take that long to dry like in between, you know, too, so. Hey. Juan was in charge of dinner and he was craving ramen. Um, I'm not a ramen fan. <laughs> But I wasn't like super hungry because I mean, I had my lunch, I had a smoothie, I had my matcha, like you guys saw, I feel like I had a lot. So what I ordered was just some goizas. I feel like I say goizas, but that's not the way that you pronounce it. But I just go with it. I should have thought about this while we were waiting for the delivery. Cause maybe I could have like steamed some broccoli or something to go with it. But I'm just not in the mood for that now. Let's go. <laughs> This is it for now. We'll see if I want something else. Our dog has way too much energy. <laughs> her sedation pill wore off and now she's like running around and it's so hard to get her to stop. She wants to play fetch, she wants to do all these things and like we're not engaging in doing that. But it's so hard to say no to that pretty little face. Also tragedy struck <laughs> when we got back from Argentina this we forgot to tell my niece to like water and stuff so everything like died so now we are in the stage of regrowing <laughs>
of time doing my skincare. Hi, baby. Gray wanted to get in. So I've decided last minute that I'm gonna do a little mask. This is a skin brightening enzyme. And from being in the sun in Argentina, lots of like my melasma came out to play. So I'm back on trying to get it lightened up. I wore sunscreen religiously, but even with that, it always happens. So let's put this on. I have been using my tretinoin, but I've been going pretty slow using it to be honest with you guys like maybe once a week i want to ease into it because i don't want to deal with any sort of like purging and stuff that i've heard can happen from using it and then i also have a lot of like work commitments to coming up this next week and i don't want to deal with like my skin peeling because it does or it's just like really dry no matter what i do even with all like my hydrating products, you still deal with it for at least a day or two, you know? Until you can like exfoliate it off. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna do a light layer here. Leave it on for like 10 minutes, then I'll come back and finish up the rest of um, my routine here. I really like this because it's a, like a nice substitute to harsher um, treatments and medications that can help with pigmentation issues. Like for me, I usually use hydroquinone but i've been taking a break from it but this has lots of other acids that are amazing at helping pigmentation it doesn't typically help so much for me because mine's like a next level it's a bit of an extreme case and hard to like treat but it does do a little something and what i like about this as well is that it has salicylic acid in it so it's still gonna help with like my breakouts and stuff too so it's kind of like a multi-purpose mask and then i totally didn't bring this to argentina which i wish that i did but this is oof how do you explain this so it's like also like a multi-purpose device there's lots of things that you can do with it you do like sonic pulses essentially like or i don't know how to call it but um that can either penetrate in or help lift out impurities and stuff like that it also has like a massage aspect of it but then it also has like red light therapy blue light therapy green light therapy and you can use it when washing your face you can use it with the toner applying like serums and stuff so it's really cool little device here and i'm excited to be back home with it and integrating it back into my routine too another like really random <laughs> Since it's a sitting right next to it, I figured I would mention it. This is like a sanitizing light for my toothbrush. Does it for three minutes. It charges just like with a USB-C. Great. Hey, so kind of nice to be able to do something like that for my toothbrush. And then you guys know this fairly well. I don't know if I've ever like called it out specifically, but you guys always have questions about this. This is called like a dental pod and it sanitizes and cleans your like aligners. Love this, use it every single day. It keeps my aligners looking like new because those things can get like really gross and crusty looking so quickly, but it even cleans up all of that. And then to pair with it, sometimes I use just water which is great, but then also can use like one of these retainer tab things in it and it cleans it even more. Okay, I'm gonna go chill and I'll be back. this like little heated pad thing but it's also weighted too so it's kind of nice <laughs> I'll remind myself that i need to clean the microwave <laughs> because it's essentially like a weighted blanket but like on your shoulders it's so relaxing it's so nice i've been doing it right before bed like when i'm laying in bed reading and it just relaxes me and puts me in the perfect place to like fall asleep it's quite nice so we are going to do that 
Hey, Gray. Gray's like, can we go to bed? Like, what is this? But thank you guys so much for watching the vlog, spending the day with me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'm excited to be home and just like pump out all of like the home vlogs. Ugh, there's just like no better feeling, right? So if there's anything you want to see from me, if you have any ideas, let a girl know. Let me know. But I love you guys. And I will see you in a couple of days in the next one. Mwah, mwah, mwah.